Our university is a very old university, it has more than 500 years of history and the medical faculty has more than 300 years of history. Our department was actually opened in 1891, so it's an old department with an old history. The first time that the word psychiatry was invented, by the way, uh, was here in Halle. So psychiatry was turned by Johann Christian Reil in 1808. The current vision of our department is to provide the best care to our patients, uh, to have innovative ways of teaching and to do really exciting research. Let's start first with the clinical part. In treatment, we're following a, a biopsychosocial model. This means we are treating with drugs. We are also treating with psychotherapy, especially cognitive behavioral therapy, and we are also trying to fix the environment, the social circumstances of the patient. The focus of this department's research is to find causes for diseases, to understand pathophysiology of diseases, and to eventually to develop them better treatments. In the lab we are actually uh, conducting multi-omics research as well as cellular work and also work on molecular biology in order to identify pathways which are actually altered in diseases including schizophrenia and several types of dementia. One focus of our research is genetics. We are um, trying to understand the pathophysiology of for example schizophrenia or Alzheimer's disease by using the tools of genetics. The department is highly involved in genomic efforts worldwide, so we are very much interested in genetics and neuroscience of neuropsychiatric diseases. This research is highly important because you can detect the causes of the disease. So you can do risk profiles for patients and detect high risk patients or patients with low risk. After that we can try to find new disease pathways for medication. I am very much optimistic about this research because we will try to find personalized medicine for our patients. One drawback we have actually in, in psychiatry is that we can't directly access the brain, of course. This is why we are trying to bypass that by taking peripheral cells like skin cells or blood cells to de-differentiate them into stem cells and then to re-differentiate them into neurons. And we're also using the stem cells in order to create what we call organoid cell cultures, which is basically small structures which form brain-like structures. We try to rebuild, if you want, what we can't look at from the beginning and then try to find out what's going wrong. And then we need to fix it. So the next step would be to go for chemical screens, to screen substances, uh, whether they would refix what is altered in the cells. And this is the ultimate goal. And if we find substances which are actually working, then that might be the first step for personalized therapies. Given that we are doing a lot of research, we can offer the students to come to do research with us. So they benefit by learning uh, advanced uh, lab methods. The research we do at our clinic um, allows us to enrich our education for the students because we are able to take them from psychological or psychiatry fundamentals to the um, latest research results and both enhance the knowledge we can give and um, take the students to think critically about historical thesis. I'm very optimistic about the future in this area because uh, until let's say five to ten years ago there wasn't much there which we could anchor our research on. We have tools now to further and better understand what's happening in psychiatric patients.